Hi everyone, it's Nisha. Welcome back to my channel. Do you remember beginning of last October, I was sent the Small Skin Pure IPL Hair Removal at Home device. This is not a sponsored video, they just wanted me to try it. So in this video I will tell you all about it, how it works and do I like it and if I got any results. So what is IPL device? IPL stands for Intense Pulse Light. So how it works, each flash is absorbed by the melanin within the hair follicle, then it converts into heat energy, which with time and regular use, this will lead to permanent hair reduction and removal. This also has smart skin sensing technology, which means that it reads your skin tone 80 times per second to deliver bespoke treatment. So for example, if there is a darker spot on your, on your skin or your skin is too dark, it won't fire up. So they say that this is the fastest and most powerful device, at home device on the market. It has unlimited flashes, which means you will never ever run out of the flashes. It also comes with a small attachment which is magnetic and you can do your very small area when you want to be precise. You can do, you know, your moustache area, any small area, because that just um, makes this flash area smaller. It has built-in 3mm UV glass filter, so don't touch that, don't damage it, because this protects, blocks harmful rays. It has a cover and it comes with this lovely bag where you can store it. It's supposed to give you 99% hair reduction, hair growth reduction in 12 weeks and then after that you're supposed to use it just every 4 to 8 weeks just as a top-up treatment. It has three modes, standard, gentle and speed and I will show you that in a minute. It is effective on skin types 1 to 5 on Fitzpatrick scale because, for example, white, grey and red hair have very, very little melanin and obviously this device relies on the melanin in your hair to work. It is unsafe for very dark skin because obviously if you have dark skin you've got a lot of melanin everywhere and he finds it difficult because that's what he seeks. He seeks the dark melanin. So it could lead, I suppose, to skin discoloration. So if you have very uh, dark skin, I wouldn't use it. On their website, there is a nice chart that shows you who it is safe for and who it works best for. Basically, the best candidates are people that are really pale with really dark hair. That would be like, perfect but of course there are variation and you still will get a result if your skin is a bit darker or um, or your hair is not as dark you mustn't use it on damaged skin on permanent tattoos you shouldn't use it on tanned skin so if you've been tanning you know again your skin gets a bit darker you shouldn't use it anywhere where you're using retinoids because obviously that makes your skin more sensitive. If you have epilepsy because obviously this flashes um, constantly and also remember not to block the air vents that are here underneath because that's where the fan is um, and you don't want to overheat the device so like don't block it or don't put it flat on a surface to block these vents. So before you use it, remember to shave, shave really well and you should uh, start treating it within I think like two hours of shaving because your hair grows pretty quickly, not that you can see it, but yeah, your hair starts growing straight away. So do it on the same day that you have shaved, dry skin, no deodorants, no um, lotions, anything like that. I would also advise to exfoliate your skin, not on the same day maybe, do it the day before. Uh, because if you've got a lot of dead skin, I suppose the light might have a um, harder 
time to get through through the dead skin. Let me show you now how it works. Let me plug it in. This is the first thing that I don't like about this device. As soon as you plug it in, it starts working. So there is no on off switch. You have to plug it or unplug it. Um, I would like to have an on off switch, but maybe there is a valid re reason for that. You will hear the fan going straight away. I hope you can hear that. You see the little blue light. Let me demonstrate it. So if you want to put it down, put it this way. Remember not to block the fan. Let me demonstrate it on my skin. So first, this, as soon as you plug it in, it is in the standard mode. And how you use the standard mode is just glide and stamp. You press this button, so you put it to your skin. Can you see the lights here on the side? That shows you that you've covered the area properly and the skin is light enough to work. And then you click, and then you move and click, move and click. Don't look straight at the, at the flash, obviously. Then with this button here, you can change the mode. So this is the gentle mode, which means you will see the lights won't light up all the way up. It's just a bit gentler. If you find it painful, um, or you're doing it in delicate, painful area, maybe like your bikini line, you can switch it on to the gentle mode. And this time, can you see, not all the lights come up, only halfway. And again, press and glide and then this is the fast mode it's got like a clock on it this is amazing for your legs because obviously the stamp and glide is a bit slower but with this what you do you just hold this button continuously and just glide the device and it just flashes it itself by itself so you hold the button continuously and just glide and that does your legs in such a quick time so let me show you can you see the lights are very minimal because I think in this mode maybe it's not as strong I don't know but now I will keep the button pressed and just glide I don't know if you can see the flashes. So basically that's how you use it. Then you can put the little device on the top and do it on your lip. Okay, let me just turn it off. So it's very simple to use, very ergonomic, easy to hold. You also have to make sure that you get good contact with your skin and that's where I have problem with my legs so the front of my leg you know it's very bony um, the sheen you don't often get for example here can you see this is not good contact where can I show it to you <laughs> where I've got Like here, you see the lights are not coming up on the side, there is just two red dots, which means that or the skin is too dark there, or I don't have the right contact with the skin. So now I've changed the position of it a bit, the lights come on. So what I do on my sheens, I go this way, instead of that way, I go this way to get good contact. So it is really easy and quick to use. Your underarm area honestly takes probably, I would say 10, 15 seconds. Um, obviously legs take a bit longer and the bikini area depends how much you do is quite quick as well. So now let me tell you my experience with it. I've never used anything like it before. I've never even had it done um, like in an esthetician office. So I was a bit, apprehensive and scared because some people say oh it's really painful I didn't feel any pain um, in certain areas on my bikini line more underneath uh, can be a bit more sensitive 
then you can switch on to the sensitive delicate mode but I was fine on the normal mode the legs the continuous speed mode is amazing because I don't know if I could sit there and just stamp it for ages on my legs so that was good but because of the awkward shape of, of your legs the bottom I'm talking about the bottom uh, part of your leg um, sometimes it takes getting used to you know changing the position of this device so it has a good contact with skin but to do my underarms legs and bikini line it doesn't take more than 10 minutes at most 15 depends how thorough you are with your legs when it comes to results obviously everybody will get a different result we all have different hair they are different strength different color so you can't say that everybody will see the same result in the same amount of time so i would say i religiously been using it every week since october so i've been using it for longer than 12 weeks and i must say they are i only started seeing results probably halfway through like eight weeks i've noticed especially under arms that my hair started growing more patchy and slower and it was a bit softer and weaker i would say my bikini line was the fastest to go so this worked really good on a bikini line um, and my legs were fine as well but i've noticed like um, the areas near my knees where they are awkward to treat um, i still have some growth there so let's say it's been 12 16 maybe 16 18 weeks i've been using it or for i still have growth under my armpits but very very minimal in fact i started noticing the biggest difference after 12 weeks so each week there was less and less growth right now i have maybe like two places where my hair still grows but it's not very thick and it's just you know like a sporadic growth and that is because your hair grows in stages not every single hair grows at the same time they go through stages so that's why you have to do such a long um, course of it and obviously at home device is not going to be as strong as the one they they use in office because they have to make it safe for at home unexperienced user, users so i'm carrying on with it still every week till I see almost no growth and then I will just keep up with it every four, four to eight weeks. So I am really happy with it. I was hoping to see the results much quicker but I know some people see results quicker but it still works so I am really happy with it. You have to commit to it. Not that if you miss one week something terrible will happen. You know it will just take you longer to get there. So I found it a bit, um, a bit of a slog, to be honest, because I used to wax my underarms and my bikini myself. I'm trained in that, by the way. Um, and I used to epilate my legs because waxing, I use hot wax. It would take too long to do my legs. For legs, epilating is so painful. I much prefer this for my legs. But with waxing, I would wax my armpits and I wouldn't have to touch them for three weeks. Whereas with this, I had to shave every single week, which I wasn't used to because I've waxed for years. And I also think, um, maybe my, that's why my results are much slower, I have very, very strong hair under my arms because I've been waxing, I would say, for at least 10 years. And waxing should weaken your hair and make it grow less and it's never done it for me so I must have very very strong hair shame that it's not that strong and thick on my head um, but I am quite happy especially in a winter um, it didn't bother me because you don't wear any sleeveless tops when it's cold so if you if your hair grows in between the sessions you know shaving it's not my it's not bother um, I wouldn't do it in the summer I think so I was 
pleased that they sent me this device when they did because this is the best time I would say to use it. The same with your legs, your legs are always covered so if the hair grows back in a week a bit it doesn't matter. So I just shaved once a week before the treatment. So I am going to carry on because obviously eventually when I don't have any growth it's gonna be wonderful because who wants to spend their lives shaving and waxing? <laughs> and all of this is not shaving but waxing is quite painful as well so that was my experience I really like it and I'm going to keep using it uh, and then just top up every four to eight weeks they kindly have given me a discount code I think I have 15% off um, I have it for the UK users US and Australia I think as well so please look in the description box for my discount uh, let me know if you've used any of these type of devices for hair removal IPL devices how how were your results did you like it did you find it painful it's nice to hear your experiences um, in, the, in in comments so other people can read it too okay my lovelies I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.